Can you guys come and get your sister? Ooh, look What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? I like saying what's up, YouTube. Oh. Hey, YouTube. I mean, who else? It's YouTube. Or oh, it's people. It's not YouTube. It's people. Hey, Hi, people. people. I don't think we'll ever be one of those people that have like a, a, a saying. Say. Yeah. We just want to talk to you. I'm going to be awkward every time. Okay, first let's uh, caption this by like excuse our kids if you hear them in the background, but honestly we have been trying to here. do this video forever, yes, right? Forever. And life gets in the way, including kids. So um, we're just like, let's just do it with them here. Yep, I yep. agree. Now go shoot, shoot this one right here. You want to pop in? <laughs> okay, so let's catch up from where we left off. So we left last off having time, Kinsley and the left off was talking we about- We moved in this house. So yeah. you can watch that video here. He's gonna put it right there. No, I'm not. <laughs> I always want to do always that. trying to do You can watch editing. it here. You can click down there. You know how they do. But anyway, <laughs> um, our last video was us moving into this house. Um, the house looks a little bit different since we yeah. moved in, but we have so many renovations that we want to do, we just haven't had the time. And partly why we haven't had the time is- because um business took off. Or yeah, it, our business like off. grew quite a bit um, in 2020. So just like everybody else, we have been experiencing the COVID-19 worldwide pandemic. And during that time, when it first hit, when the kids first, got out of school we started virtual yeah. learning we had no idea what was going to happen with the business and the internet was quiet yeah the internet was really quiet but thankfully people um started to do a little bit more at home yeah. and they started to shop a little bit more from their phones and at home and it's been yeah. a huge blessing we were able to partner with bravo tv doing a dope housewife t-shirt we'll link that and then um our biggest thing Bravo was, was yeah, Bravo was really fun, was when we were able to be a part of Oprah's favorite thing. The big O. Yes. So that um, was a that was a dream come true. Yeah, it really Especially was. Especially for her. It was. For me too. It was awesome. I mean But I love Oprah. Like, I faded out when she popped in on us. I love me some Oprah. I always will. But how it happened is um, where what we get a lot of questions about. And we just wanted to answer that and address it and just say, you know, what happened? How did this become, how did we become a part of Oprah's favorite things? And I think a lot of people in business ask that question because of course people would love to be a part of it. And people ask us in business, how do I get on that list? Do you have a contact? Do you have this person? What do I do? And um, she's gonna tell you the truth, what you really need to do. Why don't you tell them? You don't really need to do anything, but do your business and walk in your path and do, just do you. And there was really no pinpoint of what what happened or we didn't reach out or there's no application you fill out. It's all, it was all in God's plan. That's how yeah. we feel. That's what we know. That's, that's the truth of it. So my take on it is I agree 100% with everything that he said. Um, at the beginning of 2020, back in January, um, when we were getting our office painted, I think it actually was in February. I don't know, maybe you can insert a picture here. Um, but we shared it on Instagram and on Facebook and how we were just writing our dreams and our prayers in our space. So um, prior to painting the office, we literally, we were actually getting the whole house painted, but just the office specifically, we wrote down some things that we wanted to happen in our life and in yeah. our business particularly and so one of the things that i wrote down i wrote down tons of things i wrote down like amazon growth but the one that i really really wanted and that i was believing for was a god size dream and so i do believe that oprah's favorite things was a god size just god size dream aside from like the sales and just the experience yeah. and just talking to oprah actually talking um yeah to that her. i think that video was on our on our channel but just like aside from all of those things like this is like every business wants to be stapled as oprah's favorite thing but it was just like a role model like somebody that you truly look up to yeah and 
kid you not, like once you talk to Oprah, like anybody will talk to you. Like I've talked to so yeah. many other influential people because they saw me talk to her or because they saw us on that list. Yeah. So um, that, it goes far beyond just the holiday season. So yeah. that's what I'm truly thankful for. And when I asked them, like, hey, how did you hear about us? Where did you find did us? You find us? Um, they were just like, I'm not sure. They're not I'm sure. Not sure. You know, maybe Instagram. But one of our models in business is to make sure that we're seen everywhere, everywhere we possibly can. So um, we do try to be on. We're on Twitter. We're on TikTok. We're on um, Pinterest. Being able to be seen was, I think, a pivotal moment for that. For us to be them to be able. To I don't even know if that was even it. on YouTube. I don't know. We don't know. We really don't know. Um, but I, but do I say, think that that can yeah. help possibly. Yeah, but I do say like be everywhere. We do say that all the time, like because you never know what go wherever. There's an audience on each of these platforms, these social media platforms that are taking over everybody's life. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that your audience that's there can find you. And but also remember, it doesn't matter how many people are seeing you because yeah. we, when you look at the size of our business and there's the, bigger business, right? Out way, there. way bigger. And you look at the revenue that we bring in, it doesn't really match our follower account. So I feel like I am still a firm believer in it doesn't matter who who doesn't see you, who needs to see you will. As long as you're just authentically who you are and in the passion what of what it is God has called you to do. Right. So um, I think that makes a huge difference. It really does. So, I truly do think so too. Yeah. So to just be short, if you want to know exactly how it happened, we don't know. We don't we know. We just really believe that it was just a God it thing. It was a God thing. It was moved by right. God. And I literally would say... Remember, I would be like, Oprah's gonna wear our stuff. Like, Oprah's yes. gonna wear our stuff. Yes. Gonna, like, she didn't wear it, but. She didn't wear it, but she, but she talked to me. She and to she us. told my kids that we are the best parents in the world. And we use yes, that line did. all the time. And she said we had and the best. And she said we had the best matching pajamas in the world. Yes. Which I agree. She was awesome to want to send them a message because we shared to, with her, you know, how they felt about her. Like, they do know who she is because we educated on her them on who she is and she was like whoa how do they know that but it was all just God I'm honestly and I say and when you're moving in your business just do the best that you can do move the in moment. the way that you can move and don't worry about people seeing you because who will see you they will she says this all the time she said it in all her interviews and I agree with that as well and you also need to I mean you need to be seen so I do agree with like spending money on social media. So on yes. social media advertising, I do agree with all of those things and that totally transformed our business too. Yes, but when you talk about um, press and you talk about being seen by other people, um, I think that like we've been featured in Pregnancy Newborn Magazine and different things like that. Also, and stay true to who you are. Don't try to be this business or that business because they're already out there. Yeah. Not that you can't sell the same thing as someone else unless it is copywritten or trademarked right. like the original remix and encore. But I, what I'm saying is make sure that your ideas are your ideas alone. Right. Um, because if it's already been done, it's done. Um, do you and there, there's space for you, but just make sure you are doing you and not someone else. Yes. Because I think so many people are like, well, I've never been featured in this or I've never done right. it. Are you different? Yeah. You know? So I think that's important too. Um, when you're operating in who you are, like people can't mimic that. Um, even if they try to. This turns into like a business advice. It turns video. into a business <laughs> advice. It was supposed to be talking about open, but I think it kind of goes together. It goes one in the same. One in the same. And, then, and, and even still, like Oprah is great, but you don't have to have that to have a successful business either. Right. I don't know. It's just a lot. Long story. We don't know, child. We'll know how she got it now. That's your long story <laughs> story. I just finally want to answer this question. You get asked. Because we get asked. All the all time. So yes. how do you do it? You be you. You be you. <laughs> you walk in your purpose. You trust God and you pray and just believe that those things are going to come to pass. Yes. And, and get it. Ow! But um, we're going to do a lot better 
on making a presence on this page more. Of course, we would love to drop gems. Yes, if you have questions or if you want, like, like Kenny's been saying this forever, like, Ashley, like, why don't you share some of the things that you did in the beginning? Right. Um, because people want to know that. So, like, if you want us to, we would love to we share. We would love to. We are not. We just don't know. Like what part of business you guys want to yeah. We can definitely share our story in the way that we approach things to help others. If that if that's something if that's that something you, want you guys are looking for. I would really love some interaction and some comment and feedback on that. So I know the direction or can help me the direction I want to go continue with this page. So let me know. Because I know the boys, they're ready to take over the YouTube page. Are they? Yeah, they are. Look, 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 he right there like put me on. So if you want to talk about business, we can talk about business. We can talk about kids. We can tell you the truth. It's hard. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, and it's trial and error and I still don't have it right. Yep, we still don't have all the answers and know everything. We're going to post some vacation stuff. We do. We do have a lot of stuff in plan. I'm going to post what it looks like, a pandemic looks like. Well, Disney looks like during the pandemic. I'm excited about sharing that. You know we love Disney. Because you know we love Disney World and we're finally heading there, so yeah. Do me a favor and subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna put it right there now. She always wants I me to always do all this editing. I always wanna do the point. Where are you gonna put it? Cause I wanna point. Okay, put the point where you want me to put it. Wait, you said right there. Okay, I'll put it. Okay, right there. So it's gonna be where my finger <laughs> But I'm telling her, that editing stuff is not easy. You want me to just add stuff. All right, well that's it. That's all we have for it right now. And we'll have more, I promise. Alright, bye. Bye guys. You wanna come say hi? Uh, I'm gonna start my um, gaming channel a little bit. It was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> it was delayed because of COVID? <laughs> okay. Okay, we got